the second edition. We see Dr. Peter Bryant's continued ambition for his son when he submitted Thanatopsis for publication. He had found it in his desk. I'm not sure he even asked his son William whether he should submit it or not. William must have considered it unfinished because he added on to it in the collection of poetry that was published in 1821 after his father's death. The lines, Yet a few days, and thee the all-beholding sun shall see no more, probably seemed a much more harsh beginning. And Bryant added the introduction that we know, beginning, quote, To him who in the love of nature holds communion with her visible forms, she speaks of various language, end quote. The first problem that we have is with communion being capitalized. The choice to capitalize communion is quite deliberate, and we can see Bryant doing similar capitalization distinctions in words like heaven and Lord in his other poetry. To the Christian, communion with a capital C can only be the communion that the Lord Jesus Christ commanded at the Last Supper. First saying, quote, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, do this in remembrance of me, end quote. And then, quote, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me, end quote. Nature, as a creation of God, is a teacher. The Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 11.14 writes, quote, does not even nature itself teach you that? End quote. And also in Romans 1.20, quote, His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been created, so that they are without excuse. End quote. But when the Apostle Paul says, Does not even nature teach you? He is implying that nature is an inferior teacher to the Word of God, the mind of Christ. In communion, we glorify our Savior by our choice to remember His substitutionary sacrifice for us. The capitalization of the word communion is probably to limit the amount of sensuality that we see in the phrases voice of gladness, a smile, eloquence of beauty, she glides, but even a beautiful creation of a woman does not reveal the cross. The images of death in lines 11 through 13 are not of a relationship with God or being absent from the body and face to face with the Lord. 